Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to add a mouse button to the PC Free Toolbar on your Brightlink projector. The Brightlink menu is designed to automatically sense when a PC is attached via the USB cable. When the USB cable is not connected, the PC Free Tools are shown at the bottom of the display. When you attach the USB cable, the PC Free Tools go away because Brightlink is anticipating that you will control the PC using tools available on the PC. However, some users prefer to have the PC Free Tools display even when connected to Brightlink from their PC. Additionally, you may want to control the PC and annotation tools with minimal toggling. In this video, we will show you how to make this possible by adding a mouse button to the PC Free Toolbar so that both mouse and annotation tools are accessible simultaneously. Here's how you do it in just a few simple steps. Start by accessing the menu of the Brightlink projector by pressing Menu on the remote control. This will open the projector settings where you can customize your interactive experience. Once in the menu, navigate down to the Interactive menu and press Enter. This enables access to the interactive features needed to modify the toolbar. Scroll down through the list of functions on the submenu and select Mouse icon on toolbar. Press Enter to access the settings. This will allow you to enable the mouse button on the PC Free Toolbar for easy access. Next, use the remote to select On. Press Enter to change the setting. Then select Return. You now see the mouse button has been enabled. This new setting will remain saved even after restarting your projector. With the setting changed, now press the Escape button on the remote twice to exit the menu. You now see the mouse button has been successfully added to your Brightlink toolbar. Now you have the ability to select the mouse or the annotation tools from the same toolbar, eliminating the need to toggle back and forth using the PC Interactive On and Off button. Additionally, by looking at the status button on the toolbar, you can see the selected ink color of each pen, as well as the status of the touch function if you have a touch-enabled bright link. One of the most convenient ways to use these tools is to choose the inking tools with a pen and then select the mouse button for the touch function. This will allow you to control the screen with your hand and annotate with the interactive pens, enhancing your workflow and ease of use. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more helpful tips and tutorials, be sure to visit the Epson Support website or the Epson channel on YouTube. Until then, see you next time.